Hey everyone, this is an Illustrator tutorial. Michael Flannery in the group had asked um, how to halftone images. And this is just something, I typically don't do this, but it's just something I found that um, could hopefully help. So what you wanna do is you wanna first grab something like a box here, and actually another box, let's see. Let's do a polygon. And you wanna just draw it on, a, on, the, uh, on the canvas, and then uh, you wanna make it white and then copy it and then command F to put it in the front and then hold shift and option on the handles on the side and bring it down. Now you'll see, it looks like it's just there by itself, but it hit command A, there's all of them. And then here, just pick like a, like a gray. So like I've chose like kind of a dark gray and then grab them both and then go up to object, do, do, do blend, make, or you could do Option Command B, and it'll blend it. So you got this kind of cool effect here. And if you select that, and you go to Pixelate Color Halftone, and then these were the. Um, it's going to rasterize it, so it's going to change it from vector to being rasterized, and it's going to take a minute or two. But the following numbers are what. Uh, I found that worked. So once this thing one day gets there, we will show you how to do that. So in the meantime, we can just talk about our feelings. Oh, okay. Maximum radius, 96 pixels. Don't ask me why. That was just what it said. And then channels. Now, um, when you hit OK, and it's going to take a minute. And it's just going to create this halftone effect with bigger dots go to little dots. And we're going to wait. So I'm going to wait some more. Keep talking about our feelings. Again, anything you know you want to learn in Illustrator, let me know. Even if uh, it's something I don't know, I will look it up for you and just give it a video tutorial. The thing I found, it was not a video tutorial. It was just some directions that were written down, and no one reads crap anymore. Um, yeah. Here we go. Computer's so slow right now. I have no idea why. There you go. So yeah, there you go. You got your half tone. This is gonna like the dots are gonna go in from the middle out, and if you zoom out and zoom in, you know. So so something like this, you can send to the printer, and they can kind of give that like nice fade. What I would do is expand the appearance and possibly image trace, image trace it because you don't have like the dots, the freedom of the dots, which you might not need. However. Um, let me try to do this. This part I did not work with. So go to image trace in window. In window image trace. And then I would try black and white and maybe bring it down to like three and preview it or four. Let's see. Let's see if this works. Yeah, there you go. So then right now that should be vectorized and you can expand it. Now you have all of the dots are by themselves, which is super helpful. Uh, and if you want to, you can get rid of the white that's in it. So if you select on the white area, no, let's see. Um, so if I had black, I did select object fill color or same fill color. I'll grab all those and I would just make a new layer and I just drag them up and then hide it. And then I would just do command A to see all the white ones that are left. And then those you can change to like, all right, red. So yeah, so that could be kind of a reverse. And if that's not what you didn't want to do, then you can just show this one. And then you can do that and say red. And then they're they're on their own. Now in that sense, then you could bring that, let's say, into Photoshop and put it on a shirt. Oh, big, big, big thing with this. This is one thing I totally should have started in the beginning. Document raster effect setting right there. You want to make sure that that is on um, bring up to 228 PPI. So just do other and then that because it's going to make it um, just printable and that's it so let's see here let me go to canvas canvas t-shirt go to images and can say like here's my now here's my gray design here's this one so copy it go to photoshop hit new hit ok because it'll just take on the attributes of what you just copied and my computer is being super slow at the moment ok 
Come on. We can get through this. I might have too many things open. There we go. Okay. And let me hit new. There we go. And paste. Now I go back to Illustrator and I copy to Command A, Command C, Command V, do pixel. And I, so let's see. Let me undo that. Hit F first. Let me try that again. Command V. All right. Now I can bring this down. And let's see, that could just give me like, this what this could look on a t-shirt. And you can kind of just test it that way. And you can probably double click on here, give it a color fill of whatever you want it to be. Maybe you want it to be like orange or this gray, but darker, this black, but darker, or this white, you know, whatever it is you choose, whatever your little heart desires. But yeah, um, so hopefully that answered the question. If not, let me know. Um, but that's it.